Did you catch that the character hasn't changed across scenes? Keeping faces consistent with AI isn't easy. Paid tools cost a lot and free tricks like using fixed seed numbers rarely work. Maybe the face or the hair color changes with every image. But you can fix that. In this video, I'll show you how to create a consistent character looking same in every scene. And the best part? It's totally free. If you enjoy this type of content, like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive more recommendations like this from YouTube. Let's dive in. Yes, in the first step we'll create our character. To do that I first open chat GPT and paste a prompt like this. Please write a highly detailed and realistic image prompt for a confident 25-year-old European character named Lisa. Please also include style keywords in the end like hyper-realistic, cinematic lighting, sharp details, and natural colors. I want a detailed prompt, because otherwise our character won't be very distinct. Now I let it generate this way. As you can see it gives a lot of detail, from the clothes she is wearing to her hair color, how their shoulders are positioned, their watch, then accessories, and then the background. It gives all of these in detail. Basically, the more detailed it is, the better. Now I'll ask it to write everything in a single paragraph so it'll be easier to use. I will keep this tab open to use later. Let's move on to generating our character. We're going to create the first image of our character. For this, I'll use image FX, and I'm leaving the link below. You can use it for free. I take the prompt we prepared in the last step and paste it here. Since I already included all the details, I don't make any extra selections below, I just start the generation directly. And yes, as you can see, it prepared images in just a few seconds. It really looks like the British character I wanted. Some of the images came out a bit messy, but there are good ones. For example, this one looks good, and this one also looks nice. We can use them. This will be the first image of our character. I'll show you how we can consistently generate new images of the same character. For this, we first need to open the settings section on the left side. As you can see here, in the seed section, there's a lock icon. We switch the sign to lock. When we do this, it basically saves the details of the first image we created. That way, in the next generations, the same face with the same details will be used. Let me show you a quick example. Let's generate the same image again. Now it has created four new images of the same character. It's the same character in different poses. Let's compare it with the previous generation. This was our first one, and this is the second one. As you can see, the pose is different, but the character is exactly the same. Don't worry if some outputs looks wrong. That is the reason the tool creates four images. When you do it, just select a good output and continue with that. Now let's go ahead and place this character in different scenes. All right, now let's see our character in a different scene. For this, I go into ChatGPT and ask it to suggest different scenes. Yes, it came up with some really nice ideas. I like the fifth idea, so let's illustrate the character in a creative space. For that, I'll ask it to generate a prompt. Now I take the prompt it produced, paste it into the tool where I had locked the seed. First I check that the lock is still in place, then replace the old prompt with the new one, and start generating. Yes, it created our character. Let's take a closer look. It placed the character into a completely different setting very beautifully. To compare more easily, I'll show them back to back. Here's our original character, and here's the one placed into a new scene. As you can see, the outfit was adjusted to match the surroundings, but the character's face and hair stayed the same. Perfect consistency. Now let's go deeper and create a story video around our character. Now let's create a story with this character. For that, I go back to the same chat in ChatGPT, but this time I ask for story ideas. For one of these ideas, I'll have it generate scenes, with each scene containing both an image prompt and a video prompt. I liked the second idea, so I am writing this prompt and generating scenes.
As you can see, it created the scenes, and for every scene, it gave me an image prompt plus a video prompt to animate that image. Now just like before, I'll start with the first scene and generate an image for each one. Again, I make sure the seed is locked, and then I generate the first scene. This one shows the moment our character arrives in the city. Yes, I think it looks quite nice. Set in a train station, and the character is consistent. I'll continue generating for the other four scenes as well. In one of these generations, I didn't like the hair color, so I ran it again. This time, the darker hair works better, and I'll use that detail for the same character. If you're not satisfied with something, you can always regenerate like this. I will finish generating all the scenes now, and then turn them into video scenes in the next step. I generated videos for two scenes for demonstration and now I'll show them. I created these videos for free using the Seadance app. If you want to learn how I did that, I'm leaving the link to a separate video on top right. Since the main focus here is consistent character creation, I won't go into too much detail for video creation. You can click the top right corner to watch that tutorial. I used the video prompts we generated earlier. Now let me show you how the first two scenes turned out. The first scene is our character's arrival in the city. As you can see, it's quite successful. The lighting flows cinematically. And the character is exactly the same as the one we generated at the beginning of this video. Let's see the second scene now. The second scene shows the same character working in a cafe. As you can see, the character remains identical, while the environment, lighting, and cinematic feel all match perfectly. It really feels like different scenes within the same video story, but the character stays exactly the same. You can create any story video for any character like this. Okay, now let's do a quick recap so everything sinks in. First, we prepare a detailed prompt for our character in ChatGPT. This is the foundation of everything because it defines our character and makes sure all the details and keywords are clear. Next, in Google Image FX, we generated our first image to have a reference image for other generations. On the third step, we locked the seed number when we generate the character. That way, all future generations are based on the first one. Next, we placed our character in different scenes to test the character consistency. On the fifth step, we created a story for our character and for each scene, asked ChatGPT to generate both an image prompt and a video prompt, and created images of our character in different scenes. On the last step, we tested our images in video format to create a story. A small note, I didn't show the animation process in this video, but you can click the link in the top right to watch that tutorial. And one important tip, if your character turns out differently, you should adjust the prompt so it matches exactly the way the character was first defined. Otherwise, character can change in new images. And that's it. Now you know how to create a consistent character and place them into different scenes, without needing expensive or overly complex tools and without spending money. Definitely give it a try and share your results with me. And if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to like this one and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next ones. Thanks for watching, see you next time.